take a look at this. Are these figs or are they briba? Actually, what the heck is a briba? How can a fig tree put out briba and put out figs? And how do I tell them apart? Can I eat a briba or just a fig? Well, I'm going to explain all that to you. Okay, so these are actually briba. And I know that because of a number of reasons. One is where they are growing. There's no leaf. In fact, in this case, there's no leaves at all on this tree. They are growing on old wood or last year's wood. The main crop fig will only grow on this year's wood. Basically, main crop figs only grow on new branches that form this year. And Breba are those figs that were about to start growing last year. And then the cold came the tree got the signal from Mother Nature to start shutting down and go to sleep. So everything stopped and those figs waited until the tree woke up again this year to pop out. This was actually a cutting taken from a tree. And as you can see, it rooted, popped out these figs before anything else. You would be wise to remove these to let the tree focus its energy on growing and development instead of focusing on ripening these figs. I know it's hard to do. Many fig growers don't mind pruning their trees extensively every year because they don't care for Breba and are only after main crop figs unless you're trying to get Breba figs. Okay, so should you grow your tree to get Breba figs? Or should you grow your tree to get main crop figs? Well, that depends on your climate and your personal preference. It also slightly depends on the variety that you are growing. A crop like Atriano has two completely different tasting figs between the Breba and the main crop. So the truth is Breba figs taste great but not as great as main crop figs. However, since Breba figs start before main crop figs, they ripen earlier, which gives you a taste of your fruit early. However, the energy your tree puts into ripening the Breba delays your main crop. And your tree will not put out as many Breba as it will main crop. So, should you slow down or maybe even sacrifice the plentiful main crop for a few Bribas? Well, that depends again. If you have an extremely short summer and you don't do anything to give your tree a head start, Breba might be your only fruit option because your season is too short to ripen the main crop. Keep in mind, some trees don't put out Breba, only main crop. And some trees, like Violet de Bordeaux, have Bribas that taste pretty damn good. Actually, just as good as the main crop, in my opinion, for that tree. Personally, I don't mind Briba. I get to taste my fresh fruit early. And because I give my trees a head start, I'm still able to ripen my main crop. Now, if I was somebody that lived maybe somewhere up very far north with a short summer, I might either focus only on Breba or get rid of my Breba just to get main crop. And if I was somebody that lived in a warm climate like California, where I have this big, huge tree and I have all the time in the world to ripen everything, I'll probably get tons of Breba because of the size of the tree. And I wouldn't want to sacrifice those because my season is long enough so that I can ripen my main crop. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this informative video. Uh, as always, please like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the notifications icon so you can be notified whenever I get a new video on my channel. I am trying to grow the channel, and thank you very much.